So today I don't want to spend much uh, time, but I yeah, I'll just uh, work on the uh, you know very basic stuff. Okay. Uh, so last class we were discussing about you know uh, various um, uh, you know uh, what is the declination, what is the inclination. Uh, today we are going to uh, discuss the type of magnetic material. What are the type of magnetic material? So as you can see that here there are uh, you know uh, uh, three types, mainly three types. I mean later on we are going to study fairly the right, but uh, uh, today we are going to focus on mainly the materials uh, classified uh, on the basis of susceptibility as uh, diamagnetic material, uh, paramagnetic material, okay, uh, then the ferromagnetic material. And what are these? Uh, so we're going to study all these uh, in detail uh, in next classes. So these they classified the material based on the susceptibility. If the susceptibility is very important, if the susceptibility is negative, so we can say clearly though the materials are called uh, diamagnetic material. If the susceptibility is positive uh, in small, we call it paramagnetic material. And the susceptibility is positive and large, uh, then we call it paramagnetic material. So what is indication of this psi? Uh, we call it this psi, right? What is susceptibility? Okay. Susceptibility is a kind of uh, 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 magnetic property which is related to the magnetization, which is related to the magnetization, okay? So H is equal to uh, X uh, susceptibility magnetization. From this relation, we, re, we basically uh, define the susceptibility as uh, it is a ratio of the, it is the ratio of the magnetic intensity to the magnetization. Okay, so we didn't understand what is this. Yes, I'm going to explain that. First thing you should know that we, as we all know that from the school standard, there are three types of magnetic material. The first one is diamagnetic material, second one is paramagnetic material, Third one is paramagnetic material. If the diamagnetic material, uh, which has actually negative susceptibility, paramagnetic material susceptibility is positive, but it is small. Paramagnetic material uh, susceptibility is a positive, but its value is large, which means what? So the uh, if you can see these equations, if the you know susceptibility basically related to the magnetization, okay. I think this is just, let me, let me, this is actually a little bit wrong, this equation. M is proportional to the uh, chi is proportional to the magnetization. So chi is uh, basically mh chi is equal to if chi is greater. So if chi is greater, okay, greater than zero. So we are, what we call it actually, we call it actually, you know, magnetization is high. What is the magnetization? Let me explain that. So as I mentioned magnetization, uh, in which all dipoles are aligned in a particular direction. You guys know that, right? Dipoles and tende, it's a north and south pole. So if in a given material, if they align in all dipole magnetic in a, in a field direction, so we call it as a magnetized material. What is that? Magnetized material. Okay. So, uh, if the dipoles align in a particular direction, the dipole align in a particular direction, we can say that chi is 
greater than zero. In that case, magnetization is high. Okay. So magnetization M M indicates what? It's a magnetization. So B and H who are the magnetic induction, magnetic intensity, and M is the magnetization. So guys, there are three terms, right? The first one is induction. Second one is H intensity. Okay. And third one is M magnetization. Induction is related to the applied field. Like, you know, it's a B is equal to mu naught H. B is equal to mu naught H. You can see this relation. The previous slide also, you can see that. Let me show that also. Uh, See, you can see here the relations as I mentioned just now, you know, uh, magnetization definition, you can clearly see here. Let me clear it. So magnetization, you can see. So magnetization is the magnetic movement per unit volume. And how many poles align in a particular direction we call it magnetization. So how many dipoles align in a particular direction? Like they align in a particular direction. All dipoles should align in a particular direction. So magnetization is very high. If they align di randomly, so if the, if the dipoles are aligned randomly, so magnetization zero, which case, dia case. Okay. So the magnetization is very small. In that case, the diamagnetic material. In the, in the diamagnetic material, all dipoles are aligned in random direction. Whereas the paramagnetic material, dipoles are try to align in a field direction. In diamagnetic material, they are completely random direction, okay? So, we have a relation between B and H. As I mentioned just now, B is equal to mu naught H. This is a very important equation. You can take the screenshot. I mean, in magnetism, these are the maximum equation you have. So, B naught equal mu naught H. Mu naught is a permeability. B is induction. H is intensity of the magnetic field. So, M is the, what is M? magnetization. So B is equal to mu naught H plus mu naught M. Mu naught is common H plus M. So in this case, M is actually, you can see H plus M. So B is, B is related to the H and M. So now this is the relation that I was talking about. M is equal to chi H. So M is equal to high. M is high. Chi is also high. If chi is positive, M is high. And the chi, so as I mentioned just now, paramagnetic material, chi is large, positive. So in that case, magnetization is also high. So these relations you have to remember, guys. B is equal to mu naught H. Mu naught, why I'm writing here mu naught, sir? Why you are writing mu? It's a, it's a uh, permeability for a, uh, you know, uh, the, the medium. It's a medium property, okay? So if I keep the air medium, if I keep the air medium, it's a mu naught. If I keep the some other medium, it's a mu. So basically, I mean, you can also remember this equation, mu is equal to mu naught x one plus chi. Okay. And these are very, very important in every competitive exam. You will see the one of the equation from this list. Student, did you, uh, did you note down guys? Yes. So uh, the summary of the uh, equations, first thing from this slide, what do you have to learn? Magnetization, it's a magnetic movement per unit area. Uh, magnetization is high means all, the, all dipoles are aligned in a particular direction. If the, if the dipoles align in randomly, you can say it's a magnetic, magnetization is zero. So when I say magnetic, mag, ferromagnetic material, magnetization is high. Diamagnetic material, magnetization is zero. Paramagnetic material, there is a magnetic, magnetization. So, magnetization magnetic movement based on that they classified chi is negative dia chi is positive para chi is positive very large para. and these are the equations relations you have to remember it b there is a relation between the mu b is equal to mu naught ni so magnetic induction in a solenoid i think you learn in intermediate so b is equal to b naught bm so bm is equal to mu naught m so uh, and M is equal to XH. If chi is large, you can think about magnetization large. So what is the relation between mu, mu naught, chi? 
so mu is go mu not one plus chi. So there's a very very important equation to remember. Okay. Uh, uh, as I mentioned just now, uh, chi uh, about the classification of the material, magnetic material. There are three types: diamagnetic material, paramagnetic material, heteromagnetic. For diamagnetic material, chi is negative. Why? Because its magnetization is zero. Almost uh, m is equal to what? Nana? It's uh, m is almost here. You can because randomly direct, randomly aligned. So magnetization is zero. I mean dipoles are aligned in a random direction. And when you place the magnetic mag dip, uh, when you place the bar magnet close to the external field, it suppose you have a magnetic magnetic uh, bar magnet. If I would like to, uh, this is a, a magnetic field is there. H value H is there. If I want to bring this side, the bar magnet north south pole, it doesn't come. It doesn't attract towards the magnetic field. In general, any magnet should attract. But the material which do not attract by the magnetic field, we call it as a diamagnetic material. They don't want to come. They don't like actual magnetic field. So paramagnetic field, paramagnetic material, they try to come close to the external magnetic field. Where ferromagnetic field material, they try, they attract very strongly. So dia, they don't come closer to the magnetic field, and para, they try to come, but they don't come fast and strongly. Ferromagnetic material, they comes to close to the external magnetic field with a strong force. And uh, yeah, as I mentioned, yes, dia, you should remember these values, okay? Uh, now let us uh, you know write uh, important bits uh, you know sometimes you can ask question uh, differentiate the dia para ferromagnetic material we should note you should note down the the uh, differences very important guys i mean uh, the first point the first point dia, what is the diamagnetic material diamagnetic material sir they are see when you place when you place in a the material i'm talking about magnetic material which which type of magnetic material beta diamagnetic material so when you place this diamagnetic material in a uniform magnetic field so what happened the bar magnet will turn will turn will turn oh will tend to will tend to move from the high to low they don't want to attract the magnetic field they go away from the magnetic field remember guys now what i'm trying to say when you place the diamagnetic material in a uniform magnetic field they do not want to come low to high so they move away from the magnetic field which is high to low okay they don't want they don't like actually so the second one is the phenomenon of the perfect diamagnetics is called Meissner effect. It's a very very important beta. What is Meissner effect? Meissner effect is the effect in which magnetic magnetization is zero, magnetic induction is zero, or sorry, or you can also think about it, resistivity zero, resistivity also zero. So the the last question: which material? Uh, which material uh, 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 satisfy the Meissner effect? Diamagnetic material. Okay. Which material can uh, you know produce the Meissner effect in which uh, resistivity zero? So basically, superconductor beta. So the diamagnetic materials are the material can be used to make the superconductors. What are the superconductors? Superconductor in which resistivity zero, resistance zero. They are highly conductors. Okay, and note down this point and examples. You can think of it can be gainfully exploited in variety of situations. For example, for running magnetic levitation, super fast trains. So you can be used uh, super fast trains. Japan, China, we are they are using. So they go like thousand kilometer per hour. So example, basement. These are the material for the diamagnetic material. So let me summarize the diamond material. When you place this material in a uniform magnetic field, they don't come close to them. They move from the high magnetic field to low magnetic field. The, they also possess the 
the Meissner effect, which is actually superconductivity in which resistance is zero. It can also be used many variety of applications like magnetic levitation, super fast train. Examples are bismuth, lead, silicon, H2O, NaCl2. Is it clear? Students? Students? See, the strength becomes very bad. I don't, like, I don't like what happens strength. You promise, guys, last class you're going to tell your friends, right? Narsimha, what happened? Sir. Yeah. Sir, tell you, sir, call trailer ever. Okay, attendance. We, are, we 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 completely stick to our attendance. Ten members today attended. I'll take this. Okay. Thirty. That's it. I'll keep it. Okay. Sir. Okay. Just fill your detail. Did you fill it? Okay. Fill it, sir. Sir. A fill it, sir. Details will include. Yes, sir. Yes. Attend any of all of them. Yes, sir. 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 Uh, fill your details, otherwise it is treated as an absent. Okay? Right. So, paramagnetic material. As I mentioned, paramagnetic material, when you place in a uniform magnetic field, when you place in a uniform magnetic field, the bar will from low to high. I mean, they try to attract the, as I mentioned before, if you place a power magnet close to the field, they try to come towards the field. In case of daya, it go away. Okay? So the power magnet will move from low to high. Uh -huh. So they move from high field, low field to the high field. They have a doubt, that's my... Yeah. Okay? So when I place... No doubt, sir. Okay, when I place the paramagnetic material, okay, where they move, they move from low magnetic field to the high magnetic field. Okay, the magnetization of paramagnetic material is directly proportional to the absolute temperature. Very important point. We also called Curie law. What is the law? Curie law. They're going to ask. What is define the Curie law? Explain the paramagnetism and uh, ferromagnetism. So, para paramagnetism is the material when you place the uniform magnetic field, the bar will move from low to the high. The magnetization of the paramagnetic material is directly proportional to temperature. That means what? When I increase the temperature, what happened? All the dipoles align in a particular direction. Okay, as you increase more and more, they don't stay in the same line, they go randomly. That is called Curie temperature. The Curie temperature is the temperature. The Curie temperature is the temperature, ferro to para actually. The, the material which turns from the ferromagnetic material to the paramagnetic material. We're going to discuss the next, uh, next uh, case of paramagnetic uh, material. So, some of the examples of paramagnetic materials, aluminum, sodium, calcium, oxygen, copper chloride, etc. So, magnetization is basically, this is not here. We are going to discuss next slide. This, this is actually Curie law. It applies for the ferromagnetic material. Ferro means it related to the, you know, inversely proportional C. Magnetization is inversely proportional. Para means directly proportional. So, now it is clear that when you place the paramagnetic material in a uniform magnetic field, they try to attract from low to high magnetic field. And the uh, magnetization of this kind of material is directly proportional to the temperature. Some of the paramagnetic materials examples are given here. So I don't spend much here. I have uh, to go meeting paramagnetic material. So, paramagnetic materials are the materials with the strongest magnetic material. These are the material can be used to make the permanent magnets, electromagnets. 
I mean, they have very high strength. In general, for research purpose, we use the paramagnetic material to study the material, to, to know that the properties of their material, like very, very important uh, type of material called paramagnetic material. Okay? The individual atom, what happened? The individual atoms in a paramagnetic material causes the dipole movement. Every atom, every individual atom in the material, they possess a dipole momentum. Dipole in the sense, it has a north-south pole and it aligns in the field direction. However, they interact with the one another in such a way, they spontaneously align themselves in a common direction. So they try to align all dipoles in a one direction, Nana. All one direction. They are in a one direction completely. So that is called ferromagnetic material, the material in which all dipoles align in a single direction is called ferromagnetic material. So and they have also domains. Sir, what is domain theory? We're going to discuss this. Domains are the domains. Suppose you have a big magnetic material and within the magnetic material, there are domains. Within the domains, all dipoles align in a particular direction. And there are small domains and big domains also. Okay? So domain is the region where all the dipoles align in that one direction. Okay? Is it clear? Domain and tedo kadu. Andulo ne oka sinna region lo, a region lo, anni dipoles oka direction lo unte da anni domain center. Alanti domains, there are so many domains in a ferromagnetic material. The typical, they will ask this question. What is the typical size of domain size? One millimeter. How many atoms are there? You can count it, how many zeros are there? Right? 11 zeros are there. What a small domain is low in the in atoms. What is the size of the domain size? And one millimeter, and you should remember it for competitive exams. Ferromagnetic material, the magnetic field lines are highly concentrated. The field lines are highly concentrated, not like a para and dia. They're, they're moving from north to south. Very, very high strength. Okay? Very good. So now, uh, I think we discussed the three types of material. With this, I think you got to know what is actually these, uh, you know, uh, types of magnetic material. Okay? Uh, then uh, what we do, uh, uh, we'll, uh, next class, there is a 50, uh, 12 mark, there is a long answer question. Okay. Uh, we're going to discuss the yeah, next class, we go two classes, now, three classes, so long answer questions. Made. So we'll discuss those long answer questions, then chapter will close. 50% say put Within ne next week, Lopula, we'll complete the 50% 50, 50 syllabus. Okay. So, uh, if you prepare any two chapters, you will get full marks, but you have to try to prepare very well. And uh, I know you know that I posted a, uh, yesterday one person got seventh All India seventh rank in Hyderabad Central University. That is your dream for next year. Remember, guys, to get rank in there, you should do hard work from today. Don't waste even one minute also. Read, 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 read. Whichever subject you would like to read it. If you need any suggestion, if you need any help, I can provide you. I can provide you material too. Okay? But you should show that passion, dedication. Okay? Do hard work, guys. And show, you make like, you know, dreams true. And uh, I would love to help you like anything. But I want to see the dedication from your side. Those who are very serious about the getting the ranks in Hyderabad Central University and IITs, sure, we will, I mean, I will help actually. And we will provide a material too. But I don't want like this, you know, one day present, other day absent. It doesn't make sense, right? So, yes. Uh, coming to the... Uh, Guys, uh, it's very bad that you guys didn't attend any much, much many people today. Uh, 
uh, very uh, especially boys are less today i would uh, you know i would record all this uh, you know uh, uh, attendance uh, you going to face very uh, problems guys i don't know why you are not attending classes and uh, yeah i guess all of you fill the fill your detail those who attended my class the maximum is 11 members if i see any other person i am going to keep absent uh, who is going to take picture today uh, go, uh, screenshot with an okay. entry please take and post me i'll also cross check because uh, if they enter details i have to delete their data attendance too without attending classes you are not supposed to enter your name okay without attending your class uh, class you are not supposed to enter the detail pavan kalyan you are not supposed to also even if you join now i don't give the attendance okay A very serious guys uh, yeah any doubts that especially you have to remember today three types of material one is the dia para ferro dia is the material when you place this kind of material in a uniform magnetic field they do not attract they go they move from the uh, you know high magnetic material to the high magnetic field to the low magnetic field they don't like actually and this material can be used uh, to make the superconductor and they possess the mizner effect uh, superconductor are the material which have the zero resistivity okay oxygen bismuth etc example coming to the paramagnetic so not oxygen oxygen is paramagnetic material so paramagnetic material paramagnetic materials are the material which which actually when you when you place this material in a uniform magnetic field they move from a high uh, they move from the low magnetic field to the high magnetic field uh, and uh, they uh, the magnetization is directly propo uh, proportional to the uh, absolute temperature as you increase the temperature magnetization also increases and examples uh, paramagnetic paramagnetic materials are examples like you know oxygen manganese etc coming to the uh, uh, diamagnetic sorry paramagnetic material paramagnetic materials are the strongest materials uh, among all three types of material and uh, the paramagnetic material can be used to make the uh, 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 permanent magnets electromagnets uh, they also uh, have the domains the domain size is about 1 mm so the domain uh, size how many atoms are present in the domains uh 1 2 1 11 zeros uh and uh, examples are iron cobalt nickel etc okay so you should uh, able to know all these differences and this maybe they may ask questions compare the dia para ferro magnetic material and the next class very important essay we are going to discuss langley theory of the para ferro magnetic material there is a derivation uh, which is actually very important question okay If you have any doubts, let me know. Any doubts, guys? Uh, how or do you guys do you think I am going little faster today? Or any kind of sir? Huh? No, sir. Uh, but still, I am repeating. I just want to repeat, repeat to until you feel uh, excellent, like you know, perfect. Uh, did you see the that I posted yesterday? uh navin uh, i think what is his name uh navin or no anil anil the who, the person who got the uh, seventh rank all india level in central university did you see guys yes sir yeah. uh did you get any inspiration do you want to get yes, rank do you want to get rank do you, are you planning yes, are you preparing yes no started sir uh not serious ha uh, not started sir uh, no but uh, you should you don't have much time to it's already uh, october okay november december yes, january very soon i mean, you have to begin which subject you want to choose first you decide don't be random whichever subject you want math physics chemistry or computer science you should seriously choose the subject and work out getting the material or you can ask uh, concern uh, 
professor to get the material physics chemistry maths whichever computer science but you should get a rag seriously you should prepare it not like you know time pass not like you are attending classes like this. if you are attending classes like this you don't get a rag how can you get serious even one single class you are not supposed to miss it okay so vani all these people whoever attended my today class thank you definitely you guys you know have a bright future do hard work and let you can post your doubt in chatting chat box uh, if you don't want to talk to me you can uh, post uh, in a paper or chat box or you can also you know send me in whatsapp i'll definitely help they know should uh, you know it's a little bit friendly right you i mean i just want to help you guys i don't know whether you want to do hard work or not okay all the best nana thank you have a wonderful day uh, thank you sir yeah bye today i mean i don't want to focus much only one question differences between the dia para per that's it and prepare that or uh, did you get screenshots of those yes ochaya screenshot ah teskunna ah share chesukondi if you if anyone uh, didn't take share it ah okade notes would try chesukondi ah you have to write down the notes lo avanni a comparison laga raskoni complete cheyandi okay na okay sir right nana uh, but attendance uh, i don't know i mean only 10 members attended my class today i two members joined late pawan kalyan i guess uh, someone i think who who joined late i don't know sushma no one person joined late i guess yeah i'll check it i'll check it okay right now thank you okay so